Have you ever wondered, what are things made of? Let's take this watermelon for example. We could cut this watermelon in half. And cut it again in half. And again. And again. And again. If you try to cut or divide any object, like this watermelon, you'll reach a point you can't further divide it. Is this the smallest possible piece of watermelon? Actually, it's not. This tiny piece contains a large number of small particles called atoms. Atoms are the smallest particles you can imagine. Just like bricks together make up a building, atoms together are the building blocks of all matter. When were atoms discovered, and by whom? The concept of atoms was first thought of by philosophers in ancient India, around 500 BC. Then, in 400 BC, Democritus, an ancient Greek philosopher, claimed that everything is made up of small particles that cannot be seen by the human eye. He called these particles atoms. Atom means uncuttable. So, Democritus proposed that atoms cannot be cut into smaller pieces. In 1808, an English chemist called John Dalton presented the world with the atomic theory, which stated that all matter is made up of very tiny particles called atoms. What things contain atoms? Everything. Like this bag, pencils, and this paper. Everything that is naturally found in our environment is made up of atoms. Even we humans are made up of atoms. How small is an atom? Atoms are smaller than anything you could compare them with. For example, this grain of sand contains one trillion trillion atoms. That is, there are ten to the power of twenty-three atoms in each grain of sand. So can you imagine how many atoms there might be on this beach? 